Welcome. In this video, we're going to consider whether or not a barrister can accept a gift from a client. <laughs> Clients often want to show gratitude for their counsel's efforts, but there are strict ethical rules governing whether or not a barrister can accept a gift huh? from a client. The ethical rules are contained in the Code of Conduct for Barristers. The Code of Conduct is contained in the Bar Standards Board Handbook. Also, the Bar Council has issued advice on this matter. The advice is called Guidance on Gifts and Entertainment. Let's focus on the Code of Conduct for now. The relevant core duties relating to gifts are Core Duty 3 You must act with honesty and with integrity. Core Duty 4 You must maintain your independence. Core Duty 5 you must not behave in a way which is likely to diminish the trust and confidence which the public places in you or in the profession. The Code of Conduct also contains rules and guidance which supplement the core duties. You are shortly going to be shown three short scenarios. Each of the barristers you see on stage is going to be presented with a gift from their client. I want you to decide whether it would be ethical for each barrister to accept each gift. But first, you'll need to understand their ethical obligations. Please pause the video and read the following ethical rules and guidance. Resume the video when you have finished. I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done for me. Thanks to you, the bank didn't repossess my house. I know you've already been paid for your services, but I'd like to give you a gift of £10,000 for all your hard work. Can the barrister accept the money? Thank you very much for your generosity, but I cannot accept the money. The barrister has acted appropriately by not accepting the money. You will recall that GC18 prohibits a barrister from accepting money from a client, as this may reasonably be seen as compromising their independence, in breach of Rule 8. Now let's turn to the next scenario. Mr Ferguson, I'm really happy with the way you've represented me so far. I'm confident we'll win this multi-million pound defamation case. I thought you might like this car. I've got loads of cars and I'm running out of space in my garage. Can the barrister accept the car? That is such a kind offer, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your gift. The barrister acted appropriately in refusing the gift. The work for the client is still ongoing, therefore, there is a greater risk that any gift will undermine the barrister's independence, or be perceived by the public as doing so. Now let's turn to the final scenario. Thank you so much for representing me so competently over the last three years. Without your expertise, I would not have been able to secure the £50 million divorce settlement from my wife. My wife has told me she is not going to appeal the judgement. I would like to present you with these Cartier diamond earrings as a token of my appreciation. I know that barristers have rules about these sorts of things, but the earrings were quite inexpensive. They were only £45,000, so I know you will be able to accept them. Can the barrister accept the Cartier earrings? Did the barrister act ethically in accepting the gift? Yes! yes! No. The Code of Conduct does not prescribe a specific value above which a gift should be refused, but it's clear that a valuable gift is more likely to be seen as compromising a barrister's independence than a gift of modest value. A gift which is proportionate to the circumstances of the case is less likely either to undermine a barrister's independence or be perceived as doing so. So, let's look at the circumstances. We know that the barrister has represented the client for three years. We also know that the case involved a £50 million divorce settlement and that the case has now concluded. However, a gift valued at £45,000 is clearly not a modest gift. Is the gift disproportionate in the circumstances? What do you think? Would you accept the earrings? Yes! This one is a tough call. I'll leave it to you to decide. 
you now know the ethical rules relating to acceptance of gifts. See you next time.